how much of it was letting her do her thing. Yeah, I, a lot of it was written, but she would add her thing and just, I, it was, my, my, the hardest thing for me was to not laugh, because I laugh the whole time. And in the wide shot, I could barely use it, because I do this weird thing on my legs when I'm trying not to, and they're just bouncing around. It was just, it was, it was the best experience there, I think I've had. Um, so. Yeah, there's one part where you laugh, yeah. and I can't remember what she says, but I'm just like, oh, she can pull it. And she was so kind and funny, and she was, you know, making fun of everybody on set in a really nice way. And she kept saying, what did she say about getting paid? She kept saying, are you guys getting a hundred dollars? So I'm getting a hundred dollars. Nobody else. Oh yeah, nobody else. How did you approach her to do this role? She's just been following my work for a really long time. She found me and we, um, we reached out. Why is that funny? We reached out to an agent. Jason's a smooth talker, so he kept at it. And we made the schedule work. It's really easy when you only need someone for one day. day Half a day. Half a day, like the day out of days in movies. And this one, you just start work and finish work. Was, was there anything that was left out? Because it moves really quick. Yeah, no, I don't think so. There was a, well, there was a lot of outtakes that I would love to post at some point. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was really fast. And I tend to like things really short. Um, actually, and Ingrid is having another short in the 11 o'clock show tomorrow, and that's the Gabby. Yeah, Gabby Hoffman's in that one. It's called Straight Talk, and it's uh, about a Park Slope mom that... Um, <laughs> I try to talk her into the fact that straight women only flirt with gay women when it's convenient. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Okay, so let's see what questions you guys might have in the audience. Question for Audrey. Did you get the cash or did you get the book? Um, I'm going to repeat oh, the question. I got cash. I don't think any green bag dollar bill. <laughs> uh, I know we can't hear in the back. He said, did you get, I mean, I guess I don't have to repeat it. Did you get the money on the anniversary? Okay. All right, more questions. Yes. Uh, a question to Ingrid and to Rose. Uh, web series. And how important do you think web series are to our, communi our collective community? And how, Rose, the question is, how can that move from, or does it need to move from the web to other formats? It was so interesting. I was just having brunch with John Marcus, who did Hunting Season, um, uh, um, of which he generously named me an executive producer. But, um, and you know, we were just talking about this, uh, and, and talking about is that a necessary move? Do you must one, you know, can it can it be on the web? I think the I think the issue is, is and I, I and and I think that there's just some great series on the webs and, and the webs. All the webs. Some scrambled. Um, <laughs> um, but you know, like that that are on the web that that you know, I think I think the difficulty right now is to, is to learn how to monetize that. And we had a long conversation about like, you know, if we want this content, we're so used to getting content free. And, and I, I, you know, I am, I, you know, I don't know if it started with porn or what, but like we're all so used to getting content free that we just want it free. And, and you know, you forget that it takes like, no matter how little money, you know, and you could speak to this more, I know what, what uh, hunting season was made for, it's, it's so difficult to find someone to pay for that. ITBS will, will they give you a chunk of money uh, and you barely make it, but for that film, and that's you know, and that's on uh, future states, and it's no, most most things on there. I think this is the first one that ever dealt with anything having to do with gender um, uh, on that series. But you know, I think there needs to become a way that we that we gladly start to kind of give two dollars a month as a as a subscription, um, and and so that we can get content that's a little bit you know that's a little bit better, and that people who are amazingly talented don't have to struggle. Uh, to get the next season of, of a show up, you know what you know what I mean? Like, because you you do have a line in the sand, you know, it's great stuff, and then you have to say like, you know what, I ain't doing this anymore. If like I can't, you know, because you're you're really coming out of pocket for it. But you, um, I agree with everything she's saying. That's kind of the big question: is how do you monetize it? I've been thinking about that a lot as well. 
And um, what's going to happen, I think, is similar to music. Is you know, Na everybody on Napster downloaded everything for free. I think what needs to happen is the artists have to come together and connect to the audiences and say, or would you be willing to pay 99 cents for an episode? I'd be willing to do that the next time, just as a test run, and you know, hire a publicist number one because that's really important, and just launch it as a story. You know, we're gonna we're trying this thing. Would you pay 99 cents? Make an episode and see what happens. Um, and I think audiences would be responsive to that. And I think, um, unfortunately, what might happen if we don't do that is companies are now forming um, like uh, platforms. Um, and they will start making money off of artists. So, you know, I feel like the same as independent film, if artists don't stop, start standing up and realizing that the internet can actually put, uh, allow us to work for a living, then it's then other people are going to get the money. Just like yeah, and I, I also think the dangerous goal in thinking that 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 TV or network TV or cable TV is the end goal is that it really puts us in in, in, in a terrible position as as artists, where we're where the onus is on us to create the material, and then it's fought for like. And I'm not going to name companies, but there are, you know is a gay network which apply you know like at at like you know like you know a dollar on the on the you know like like a penny on the dollar. And that's just like, it's, it's insulting at a certain point, you know, I mean, because I think like, this is very entertaining stuff, you buy quality material, I think you should pay for that, you know, and, and allow someone a career. So, and, and you know, not just like, I don't know how many of you have a bunch of artist friends, but the Kickstarter things start to get very, you know, it's like the, the $100 a month on Kickstarter for everybody's film or everybody's project, I mean, it's great, but, you know, we're, there are, other structures out there. Right? Yeah, and I think that's going to die out. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like there's no way you can't. You really, it's just your friends and family supporting you. And I can't beg anymore. Jason and I were like, I, I will not beg anymore from my mom who has a temp job at some housing thing. <laughs> I don't know what she does. I, I used to cut this um, Q and A short, but I've been given the signal. I, these guys are all going to wait in the, in the lobby and they're going to answer the other questions that you guys have there. Um, and please join us for tomorrow morning short screening. And I hope to see you guys at other screenings um, this week. Um, grab me and I'll tell me what you like and I'll tell you what other movies to go see this week. And, and a, please, one more round of applause for these incredibly talented women. <laughs>